In step one, we use trace to sketch out your project using your hand, nice and free flow. So I'm gonna jump into Revit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually create what I call a sketch mass or a sketch model. So just to give you a sense of what the level of detail and how I typically would create this, obviously this is the final sketch model. So you're not really seeing the iterations in here, but it's really basic and really simple. I actually even started with a box and that's just because I had a very specific footprint that I wanted to use. And then from there, I started developing more pieces. And that sort of gave me the sense of the shape. And I started manipulating the, the angles and the depths of the different things. And so this is essentially a sketch model. It's very simple, very basic. But then what I can do with this is that I can actually print it out. I can make views out of it. I can start studying it and I can change it quickly. Once I've created my sketch model in Revit, I'll print it out and I'll start tracing over it. And then I'll use that to develop more details. Now that it's scaled, I can create the views I want. I can create the images that I want. So it's an iterative process now between Revit and my hand and a piece of trace. And as I start filling in the details and figuring out how this design is going to develop.